Welcome. Today I'm going to show you the proper operation and demonstration of the exciting new CO10 document camera from Elmo USA Corporation. It's very lightweight, it's very portable, and the setup is a snap. Just extend the arm, level the camera head, and make sure that you have the Elmo sign to where you can read it, then you know you have it properly set up. The connections are in the back. The inputs and outputs on the back of the unit are clearly labeled. It's a snap to hook everything up. Let's start with your power connection. Next, we'll connect the USB cable. The USB cable is for the software, the ImageMate software. Next, we have <clears throat> RGB out. This goes to the projector. An RGB in. This would come from your laptop PC or PC to the unit. This allows you to hit a button and switch between your laptop and the live document camera image on the projected screen. There, we're ready now. On the left end of the CO10, there's some switches. These switches allow you to change the output resolution based on the projector that you have it connected to. You have XGA, SXGA, and WXGA. Be sure to set the right output resolution to match that of the resolution of the projector that you're using. The switch on the right is video or RGB. If you're connecting this to a projector, <clears throat> you would want to put it on the RGB setting. If you're connecting it to a television monitor, then you would want to switch it over to the video switch. Remember that all document cameras, including Elmo's, require a projection device to put the image on a screen. Document cameras do not project images themselves. The CO10 is currently in the off position. You can note this by the red illuminated circle around the power button. If you also notice, the blue light beside the PC is lit up. This allows you to pass your PC signal through to your projector without the unit being on. Turn the unit on by holding down the button. The blue light will flash as the camera starts to activate itself. It immediately goes to the live document camera setting. These buttons, very, very simple. AF, autofocus in the center. You have zoom in on the top, zoom out on the bottom. This is your iris control, brightness up, iris control, brightness down. This button is freeze. This allows you to pause the image on the screen while you shuffle to put something else underneath. Hitting the button a second time, will unfreeze the image and go live again. Pressing the pause button freezes the image that's up there. This allows the presenter to change to a different material. That way it doesn't distract the students. By hitting the pause button again, we now go live to the new object that's under the camera. This is your camera icon button. Unlike some of the other document cameras, this has on-board storage. It'll hold 16 images. By hitting this button, you'll snap an image and put it on the, on the document camera, and you can play it back later. Hitting the camera button will take a picture. Note in the right-hand corner, the camera icon will come up and disappear. That lets you know that the picture was successfully taken and stored onto your document camera. This button toggles between PC, live camera, and playback mode for the images that you have stored on the CO10. Pressing the button on the right hand side, you can switch to your PC or switch back to the images that you have stored on the CO10. Then you can use the round buttons in the center button to pick the image that you want to show full screen. Press the autofocus button in the center and that will select that particular image for playback. Hitting the blue button on the right again will take us back to live camera. In the fully extended position, 
you will get a full screen up on your projected image. This is best for showing an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. Looking at the projected image, we are currently on the live camera. To zoom, hit the plus sign and you will digitally zoom up to 18 times. Hitting the autofocus will clear the image up. For tighter shots of small objects, you can move the camera into position down close to an object, such as this. Another way to zoom to show detail of small objects was to move the camera head down close to the object itself. This will result in a very clear image of a small item, such as this penny. We get it down close hit the autofocus and the image will come in the focus very clearly. The camera head on top is flexible. It allows for rotation as well as flipping up for a student cam. Included with the CO10 in the box is a microscope adapter. To install the microscope adapter, flip the camera head up, install the microscope adapter, Line the microscope adapter opening with the eyelet of the microscope and then zoom and focus as needed. Using the included ImageMate software for the CO10 is a snap. When the software comes on, you get a live image on your PC. This can be used as a preview monitor or when switching over to your PC output for the, for the projected image, you'll get the live document camera as well as any other computer application that you may be running on your desktop. The camera icon allows you to capture these images right to your hard drive. When, hit, when you hit the button, it takes a captured image before saving and allows you to make annotations with our neat annotation software. We have a variety of colors, line styles, and shapes. If, if annotating on a still image, it'll save the annotations along with the image on your hard drive. It saves as a JPEG or bitmap file. The recording tools is video recording. When activated, you have the ability to record in full motion video at 15 frames per second with audio by connecting a microphone to your microphone input on your PC <clears throat> or time-lapse photography. Time-lapse photography allows you to take an image frame at an interval, say once every minute over a certain amount of time. When it's finished, it'll render it into a video AVI file. We also have a virtual remote control. It comes up. This allows operation of your document camera from your PC. The live image can be made full screen at any time just by hitting the full screen button. It can also be resized to the size that you would like to have it. If you want the image smaller, to take up less space, you can do that. By hitting the fill button, this corrects the size for the size of the window that you've created. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration of this exciting CO10.